All right, today I'm going to do another end play measurement and I'm going to do the final setup of the... Um... So, what I've got right now is I had measured the end play before, but I put the magnet of the dial gauge on the stand. I saw that the best way to do it is you put it on the flywheel and then go up against the bell housing or there. So, what I've got is I pushed it all the way in and, and I zeroed it out using this little knob here. Um, and now I'm gonna just see what it comes out to be. So. If you look at that, if I push it, I can get it over the five, but otherwise it's just below the five. So it basically looks like this. So that is just, just below five thousandths, but if I really push it, I can get it to the five. So that's perfect. So, okay, well, I uh, have the flywheel installed and now I'm gonna put on the uh, Kennedy, I have a Kennedy stage one clutch, which I'm hoping that this is, um, you know, strong enough for this uh, 2332. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some paper towels and I'm just going to do a quick cleaning off of the plate here. Be pretty good now. Gonna... All right, so I got my. This is my uh, clutch installation hardware. Um, so that has the bolts. I'm just going to set that here real quick. Um, bolts plus washers. And what I've got is this is my clutch plate, my clutch centering tool. So. Like this, get the centering tool through. All right, so I've got the clutch centering tool here, it's pushed all the way through. That should center the plate. So now I'm going to start getting some of these. Looks like it's a wavy washer set up. All right, so I looked it up and the torque specs for this are 18 foot pounds. So I put it on uh, somewhere, between, somewhere around 19 or whatever I have it on. So I'm just gonna get each of these. Take a close look at this. So, here's my clutch, Kennedy Stage 1. Again, I used the clutch centering tool there. Torqued it to somewhere between 18 and 20 foot pounds. And you can see that should be good.